So here's part two of the 2023. You've made a decision, a New Year's resolution to yourself to make sure you have a backup. So now we're going to restore the backup. We're going to come down here to the backup we have and we're going to click on restore. And it's going to, it's taking it from our backup drive and putting it back to our original location. We're going to say next. And it's going to, re to restore all of the partitions and we're going to say finish. And it's going to indicate that we're going to re restore over the top of those volumes. And we're going to say OK. And we're going to let it do its thing. And again, what this is demonstrating is this. you've got a full backup of your hard drive. Something horrific has happened. You can boot into the, the Macrium restore process, but the system won't quite boot up all the way. Or there's some something happened, so you boot into the Mac Room Reflect um, boot scenario, and you choose to restore the entire hard drive to the image it was right before. So again, whenever you do Windows updates, just take this, just stop for a moment, and part of your process. And and what I'll do starting in 2023, I'm going to make sure I put that down as a reminder. So. When we get to the end of the month and we say, okay, it's time to install those updates, make sure you have a backup. If you do not have a backup, don't do the updates. Make sure you have a backup right before you do the updates. Because once you have the backup in place, you don't have to worry about anything. You know you can recover. You know you can come in here and say, bring it on back. And we're going to, we've restored, and we're going to reboot. And this time, instead of going into the boot up menu, we're going to go into the operating system. And just a reminder for Windows 11, yes, I'm using a pin process only because I'm testing some things and on this operating system, it's in the Insider Edition, so I can kind of keep track of, of issues coming up. You can install Windows 11 without a Microsoft account. Let me remind you again, you can install Windows 11 without a Microsoft account. We have the how to document it on the site. It's easy to do, and you are not locked into a Microsoft account. Just a reminder of that. So that's how we restored the, the operating system to where it was. Again, before you do Windows updates, make sure you have a backup. Make sure you've gone in there and you've checked that it's been successful. that you go into the log files and you can say that it's had success. So you want to make sure that you check on those log files when you do a backup. Once you know that you have a backup and it's been successful, then you can install updates. So remember, backup first, then updates. So put that down as your 2023 thing to do. It's your New Year's resolution. Ensure you have a backup before you update. First the one, then the other. Until next time, have a wonderful 2023 year. Have a wonderful new year. And until next time, this is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com.